the Model 19 has been a standard in law enforcement for 50 years. Now, you're saying, James, but, but Glocks, didn't, they didn't come to the country until the 80s. Well, <laughs> this was a Model 19 too, the Smith & Wesson Model 19. This is one of their, their custom shop. Uh, ported barrel, 3-inch barrel, ported night sight. Uh, this is not, I'm going to get a full size 19 of the new ones too. And every time I show a picture of this, people go, oh, it's got a gun lock on it. It's got the, you know, <laughs> I don't care. I've never had a problem with one. I, I mean, if I prefer, yeah, I prefer it's not on there, but uh, not a problem. But we're going to be doing a fighting revolver class, a one day class a few times in 2019 with these things. <coughs> Mostly because I want to expand my knowledge of them. And an old quote on teaching is, if you ever want to know a subject, prepare to teach it. So I'm reading books, watching videos, I'm studying all these things, and I've tried to get into the Thunder Ranch Revolver class uh, the last couple of years, and it just doesn't seem to sell for them. So maybe that's a omen <laughs> on, on me <laughs> doing mine. But I'm going to do it anyway because I think it's fun. Um, but um, but uh, but that's that. It'll, it'll, it'll be it'll be interesting. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that everybody that comes to the, the revolver class shoot full powered ammo in their gun, and so that means if you're carrying a gun that says 38 or 357, that means 357 ammo. And uh, that was a that was a mistake. Of course, you guys don't know this, but that was a mistake made by a lot of police. They'd carry these, they would shoot, they'd practice with these 38 wad cutters, really uh really low powered rounds and stuff like that and then when they got in the gunfight they had the magnum rounds in there and the guns do do not act the same they're not timed the same they don't recoil from target the target's not the same and so uh, if your game time stuff is is 357 magnum then your play time stuff and <laughs> training time should be 357 magnum and so that's what we're going to do with that so uh, you know so the fighting revolver so I got a I got a model 19. I'm gonna get the full size version of this. Uh, I've got uh, 586. Don's got a 686 uh, plus out of the custom shop on the seven shots, and uh, and we're gonna do this class. It's gonna be fun, and uh, we invite you guys to be a part of it. So fighting revolver tactical response, and uh, up at, uh, as we as we move along, I'll be talking about all kinds of things that have to do with it, um, and sharing the knowledge as I gain it with you guys. And, um, and, and I'm not telling you to trade in your sim autos for these things. And I'm, I'm going to be spending some of the time talking about the Magnum pistols, 44, 460, 500, uh, because uh, I've gotten an interest in them from hunting in Africa and things like that. And because some, because I'm seeing this class as a defense against animals or people fighting, fighting bears or lions and tigers and bears. Oh my fighting people, the two or four legged animals, whatever the case may be. And so there will be discussion of that. And that's another reason why I want the Magnum rounds. And if you, and if you're bringing a, if you're bringing a 44, bring those Magnum rounds, man, I'm telling you, you shoot them all day. There's no problem with that. Uh, 460 and 500. Uh, that's a, that's a handful. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do that all day, but, uh, I'd sure give it a try, but uh, that's it. If you have questions, let me know. James Jacob for chapter response. Remember, your responsibility to be ready for the fight. And did I fire five shots or did I fire six? Never ends.